hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple after effect tips and tricks and if you want to learn more about motion graphics then don't forget to check out my motion graphic masterclass course link is available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as Main Animation. Width I'm going to choose 1920 and height is 180. Frame rate is 30. And duration we are going to choose one minute long. And background color we will choose white color. Simply hit OK and hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option and simply hit on Title Selection. Now press Ctrl Y to create one solid background and we are going to choose not completely white but grayish color and simply hit OK and we will lock this layer. Now go to the ellipse tool and we will delete this stroke. We don't need any uh, stroke and we will choose white color and simply hit OK and by holding shift I am going to create one ellipse. Now select this ellipse, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. We will go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this. Okay, similarly select this and hit Ctrl D and we will move one over here. It should touch this line. Similarly select this, hit Ctrl D and move this over here. It should touch this line. Okay, this one. So this is ready over here. Now let's see what we can do with it. Uh, now uh, this is going to be my main one. So I'm going to select this, hit enter and let's call it as main like this. Now select uh, uh, go to the uh, rectangle tool and fill uh, color I'm going to choose let's say orangey color and simply hit ok and I'm going to create one orange rectangle press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically go to the effect and presets panel and search for wave warp effect and simply double click to apply and increase the width somewhere around like this and also increase the height to 20. Similarly go to the effect and presets panel and search for turbulence displace effect and double click to apply and also increase the amount a little bit and we will simply bring this downwards like this. Select this press P for position create one keyframe. Then we will go to around 3 seconds and we will move this from here to here like this and bring this downward select this main and hit ctrl d and let's bring this at the top select this and choose alpha mask so if you see we will get something like this let's make this cut resolution now select both the layers and hit ctrl d take a distance of five frames and with the help of open square bracket we will move this over here select this shape layer and instead of this orange color we are going to choose darker color of orange so we will get something like this now select the shape layer and we will change the turbulence uh, evolution over here and complexity we will also increase it so we will get something like this so if i see this now i'll get this kind of animation now i'm going to pick up my pen tool and i'll delete this fill i don't need that and i'm going to choose stroke so hit ok let's follow this time and now select this stroke and with the help of this picker i'm going to pick up this color first and simply hit ok then from here to here by holding shift i'm going to create this kind of stroke and let's increase the stroke width to 20 like this select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the start select this go to the add menu choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this start not start but end value 0 create one keyframe go to around 10 frames and let's make this uh, 100 like this select those uh, i think 10 frames looks good okay and the animation is ending somewhere around over here so i'm going to create one keyframe at start over here or let's say around 20 frames or let's say somewhere over here create one keyframe around this one i'm going to make it 100 like this 
or let's make this move this a little bit over here okay similarly i'm going to select this one i'll hit ctrl d and this time i'm going to pick up this darker version of this color and hit ok and we will change the stroke width to 10 pixels okay now select this one with the help of arrow keys i'm going to move this a little bit over here select this one with the help of arrow keys i'm going to move this a little bit over here okay hit u now select this layer layers and we will change the color of this one to yellow and we will bring this in middle of this one like this okay and uh, we will select this for uh, this this layer over here we will zoom in take a distance of five frames and so it will animate a little bit later okay like this okay so we'll get this kind of animation like this now we will go to the start uh, or uh, at the end we will select this layer with the help of this fill i'm going to pick up this color like this okay so if you see we will get something like this now after that right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null over here now select this layer over here and hit ctrl d and let's bring this at the top okay and we will change the color of this one to different color so it would be easy for us to understand and we will uh, uh, unparent this one okay now select this null object and press p for position first of all we will let this animation begin then somewhere around at three seconds this animation is ending so i'm going to create one keyframe at position of this null object i'll go to around four seconds and as you guys can see this orange layer is a parent uh, if you see over here it's properly touching this line if it's not then make sure that this uh, one initially should touch this line okay similarly this uh, ellipse also if you see it's touching the edge of this choose and grade guide option and if it's not uh, touching this properly then make sure you should select this two layers by holding control and with the hello arrow keys i can adjust it properly okay like this okay then after that we will select this and we will move this null object over here until and let's this orange one should properly touch this line okay with the help of arrow keys i'll adjust this let's make this fit and select those keyframe and hit f9 so if you see we will get something like this and then at four second i'm going to select this one and i'll make it apparent with this null object and over here i'll hit n okay so now if you see we will get this animation continuously in the form of loop okay so this is how you can create this uh, looping animation now uh, select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as animation and hit okay hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 press p for position and let's bring this downwards press t for opacity and let's decrease the opacity so you will get this reflection also like this uh, select this uh, layer over here go to the effect and presets panel and search for ramp effect and simply double click to apply and uh, we will swap this color and instead of black i'm going to choose grayish color over here we will bring this anchor point over here like this okay and instead of this white color we will choose grayish color and this color over here we will choose a little bit in a darker tone okay like this so you'll get something like this so yep this is how you can create this kind of animation and also if you want uh, you can go inside this you can select the stroke layers over here select this stroke also in search i'm going to type cap over here so you will get this line cap option instead of line cap we will choose butt cap not in, instead of butt cap we will choose round cap so if you see over here we will get a, a rounded corners for this liquid 
okay and if you see over here we are getting this weird stuff so we need to adjust that also so simply zoom in a little bit select the stroke layers for example this one hit g to select pen tool select this point and we will move this over here with the help of arrow keys similarly select this one select this point and we'll move this upward and let's make this fit and press ctrl y to create one solid background and bring this backward and then you can select this layer you can press t and you can decrease the opacity whenever you want that's totally up to you okay so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation inside of after effects